the Queen is continuing her royal duties. Queen Elizabeth met with the Governor of New South Wales on Wednesday. The monarch appeared to be in good spirits as she posed next to Margaret Beasley for photos, rocking a colorful yellow dress with a flower pattern. She posed at the meeting without the use of a cane, which she has used in the past amid some ongoing health issues. The appearance comes as the 96-year-old monarch has been facing some mobility issues as of late, though she does still hope to make her annual trip to Scotland for Holy Rood Week, according to the Daily Mail. The outlet reports that a decision about the trip will be made at a later time, per the palace. The updates come after the Queen had to scale back her appearances during her Platinum Jubilee celebrations earlier in the month, skipping out on the Epsom Derby as well as the service of Thanksgiving. While the Queen skipped the service of Thanksgiving, other members of the royal family were in attendance, including Prince William and Kate Middleton. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been stepping things up in order to one day be the head of the monarchy. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the queens will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.